And now let me welcome on to the field of 68 after dark, Kerr Creasa, Arizona star point guard, averaging 15.3 points, seven and a half assists, and 4.2 boards fresh off a Maui Invitational Championship. Kerr, what's going on, man? How you doing? Uh, what's up, man? Uh, thanks for having me. Yeah, I'm good. How are you? I'm I'm great. I, I, I do have to ask you a question, though. We saw you at the Maui Invitational, and you had the thin headband on instead of the thick headband. It was uh, it devastated my colleague, Jeff Goodman. Is this is this something that's going to continue throughout the year? Are you, are we, do we have a new headband, Kerr? No, it was just, uh, you know, Maui is so humid and it's so hot there, and the gym was just, uh, you know, you walk in and you're already sweating just because how much people there was, and it was very humid. So I just had a little bit, uh, you know, get adapted to the weather so i decided to go with the thin one so i wouldn't sweat too much yeah look good either way man you look good either way uh, let me ask you this you grew up in europe right Did, were you aware of what the maui invitational was like it, it's a big thing here in college basketball in the states had you ever seen it before no i had i had zero idea how how special the tournament actually is and uh, i think uh uh, when you go to the when you when you get there, then it's the first time when you start realizing how how big the tournament is and what it's about. And the the gym when we went to the gym, there was like banners all over uh, all over the gym, and like everything was basically about Maui invitation. Yeah. Where does the that environment rank in, among places that you've played? I don't know for sure. That was my favorite tournament that I ever played. Hundred uh, percent. Just because, uh, you know, it was so different. Uh, the gym is so tiny, uh, but it was packed of, uh, you know, uh, all kinds of fans, Arizona fans, uh, uh, Cincinnati fans, you know, uh, everybody. So it was uh, one of the most special tournaments I've ever played in. All right. So you're having a great season statistically, but the number that kind of stands out for me is that you're shooting 53% from three. You were kind of in the mid thirties before that. Is this just, you got hot for a little while? Did you change anything with your stroke? Where's that development come from? Uh, well, we have played six games, mm -hmm. so let, that's a little bit weight. I wouldn't, you know, rush too much for sure. I'm going to start missing more. Uh, you know, 50% is, uh, you know, a little bit, uh, too surreal to, to be true right now, but yeah, it's just six games in, uh, uh, what I was surprised with actually that, uh, I was expecting to shoot a little bit better from, uh, three in Maui because, you know, coach was, you know, hyping up that, you know, this is a shooter, shooter's gym and stuff like that. So I was like, oh, hell yeah, let's go. Next thing you know, I couldn't make a three. So, uh, but yeah, I'm I, right now we're, you know, personally, whatever, but as a team, we are really happy where we're at. It's the soft rims, right? That's what everybody talks about. Oh, yeah. It was, yeah, it was actually, it was unreal what kind of shots went in there. And I feel like from the free throw line, it was pretty impossible to miss. <laughs> yeah. All right. So I want to talk a little bit about, about Coach Lloyd because I think it's really impressive how, I mean, you lost three NBA players last year, right? maybe a year earlier than you expected for some of them. And you guys haven't really missed a beat. Like the offense, you're still out there. You're beating everyone down the floor. You're still putting up 80, 90, 100 points every single game. Like what is it about the system? What is it about Coach Lloyd that kind of allows you to be able to lose that that level of talent and not miss a beat at all? Well, I feel like the system we play in, uh, uh, the more you're in the system, you better get, uh, the better you get at the system, uh, you get to know the system way better, you know, all the little tricks and, and stuff. Plus individually, you get better in the system because we play the right way. And uh, if you play the right way, uh, you know, first of all, your winning percentage get higher. And second of all, you're getting great shots. And if I'm going to say third of all, third of all, everybody loves each other, mm -hmm. you know? So it's like three, three great things in one. And, you know, our coach is really a special coach, but he's even more special human being. Uh, how he takes care of us, you know, how we think about us. Like, you know, we stayed like extra day in Maui just to chill after and, and you know, just all kinds of together. You know, if you, if you treat coach with respect, coach, you know, treat you with respect. And uh, I think that's the best part about it. Mm -hmm. I want to talk to you about Azulis because that yeah. dude has to be in unbelievable shape. The way that he sprints down the floor and does it for 40 minutes or 35 minutes, however long he's playing, he never stops running. Is that is that something where – was he like that before? Have you seen him kind of get in shape? Is that something where, you know, those extra suicides, the extra sprints at the end of practice are starting to pay off? Uh, no, I mean, if you look at the last year, I feel like he was already last year one of the best bigs in running, uh, you know, and now this year he's just taking an extra step. And, and I think for him, you know, he knows that if he runs, he will get the ball. Because, you know, us guards, we're not selfish. You know, Pella passed the ball, I passed the ball, Courtney, Cedric, everybody just, you know, trying to pass the ball. And uh, 
and we're trying to get some easy baskets. And you know, when when Zoo runs, he he gets the ball, and I think that's that's what he wants. And you know, good, good for him so far. I'm 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 really happy for him, and he really deserves everything. So yeah, as long as he's finishing it, you're gonna keep throwing it to him, right? No, hundred percent. Yeah, once you know, if he misses two in a row, you know, I might not go there anymore. You know, maybe <laughs> we have to go look look at Omar, maybe or something. So, no, I'm just kidding. I will I will keep passing the ball even if he misses five in a row. You know, that's our guy. Yeah, Omar has uh, Omar Ballo has, has really had an unbelievable year at the start of the season. He's a guy. I remember watching him at the U19. Uh, I think it was the was it the I mean, World the Cup World Cup. Yeah, when he was playing with Mali, I think he was Three. yeah 18 years old and and. We've been kind of waiting for the breakout, right? And it's really happened this season. Did you guys see this in practice the last couple of years? I mean, obviously, last year already when we were talking about our team, we said that we have eight, nine starters. And when we said that, we kind of, not kind of, but we truly believed it. So, you know, uh, if he has surprised, probably you guys, you know, guys from outside the team. Uh, for us, you know, uh, maybe a little bit, the way that he really, you know, performed in Maui. But, uh, you know, we, we see every day how much they put work in with, uh, you know, Ricky and uh, and Zoo and all these guys. So, you know, if you work out, like, the re results have to come at some point. And I think it's perfect, uh, for perfect timing for us right now. What's the next thing that, that you guys have to – what's the next step as a team that you guys have to take? Is it, you know, get a little bit better defensively? Is it tighten some things up offensively? Like what's, what's the – you've proved a lot of people how good you guys are. How do you get to that next level now? Uh, well, uh, actually, I was pretty happy with our turnover ratio in uh, Maui because before Maui, we were kind of careless with the ball and stuff. So I feel like taking care of the ball is uh, for sure one thing. Uh, and second thing, yeah, defensively, get better stops, more stops, you know, because, uh, you know, our game our game starts with the stops. If we get the stop, we can run our fast breaks and stuff. So defense is for sure uh, very important for us. Well, listen, Kerr, I appreciate the time. Thank you for jumping on After Dark with us. Never stop playing with that intensity, man. You're one of my favorite players to watch in college basketball this season. Best of luck to you, and uh, hopefully we'll be seeing you at some point down the road. Uh, yeah, well, we will see if I'm still your favorite when we start playing bad. So that's how, you know, usually it goes. If you start playing bad, next thing you know, oh, my favorite player is Purdue point guard, you know. But, okay, I appreciate <laughs> you. I take that comment. I will put it behind my ears. I will remember it. And, uh, Jeff, uh, man. You got to say hi to Jeff and I have something something for Jeff waiting in Tucson. So make sure that uh, tell him to come down here and uh, yeah. I'll make sure that he gets down there. I know that he's uh, he's desperately waiting on the edge of his seat for that. Yes, sir.